this Monday and every Monday at this time during motorsports season, it is time for the Monday morning race review. Get you caught up as what's happening motorsports wise brought to you by good friend Tony Morrow and the gang at Tony Morrow Collision Center. Let's take a look and see what was happening on Friday evening. Oh, that was the pretty much the common theme. A lot of places around the state of Iowa on Friday. We're talking rain, rain, rain. Marshalltown Speedway called it early at early evening for Marshalltown. So no racing at Marshalltown on Friday evening. Iowa State Fair Speedway, same deal, uh, went out there. And take a look at this. It's pouring down rain, and that's Eric and Tony Morrow in the water truck, the brand new water truck, <laughs> making sure it works. Yeah, it worked. You soaked the track enough. We couldn't race on Friday. No, that's not the reason why. But that is what's going on. They canceled races on Friday because of all the rain we had in Des Moines. But want to remind everybody, since that happened, that means next Friday, May 1st, the $5 deal, which was in act last week, is added again. So $5 grandstand admission for the Iowa State Fair Speedway. And kids 5 and under get in free. The kids eat free. There's a play area. Make sure you take advantage of that. That is a good time that will be had by all but Friday night did see some racing activity in Xfinity series racing at Richmond Virginia this track is just a little bit bigger than the Iowa Speedway uh, this one here is a point uh, I believe a point seven five and Iowa Speedway's point eight seven five but here's a scary moment and our friend Brendan Gons pit uh, during a pit stop caught fire the gasoline caught fire that was a uh, overspill from the fuel now watch it again we have a couple of different angles you haven't seen before there's brendan number 62 in the south Ooh. point car burst into flames three crew members were injured two from brendan gone's crew including the tire changer and the gas man of course look at the scorching mark they left and also somebody from the hefty pit the um, eric mcclure pit was also burned they all went to the hospital to get checked up but just a very frightening incident but look at how fast the safety crews are from all different angles and it just this doesn't happen they had take so many precautions but there was a couple of people a tire carrier that said you know what when i got back to the shop the first thing i did was order a fireproof head sock and all kinds of fire gear. Look Ooh. at the burn marks oh, on yeah. him. But uh, everybody's doing okay. They were burned pretty bad, but they are, are doing okay. And a lot of people wearing more and more fireproof um, material and fireproof uniforms and coverings at all times. So this is, again, thankfully nobody was seriously injured in this very scary incident on Friday evening. Here's another view. This is from the pit camera when they uh, evaluate how they do on pit stops. But look how it just jumps and leaps over the wall and, and just engulfs a couple of those guys. One guy's kneeling right down next to where the fuel was. He was the guy that was most severely burned. But the fuel carrier is covered head to toe in fireproof uniforms. But that was the guy who pretty much had his way with everybody. That is Denny Hamlin. And he led 248 of the 250 laps at Richmond on Friday evening. He was the winner, and here are the rest of the results. Denny Hamlin wins. Joey Logano, another cup driver, finished in second. Regan Smith finished in third, followed by Eric Jones. Our buddy Brian Scott is the guy who led those two laps. Uh, to prevent Denny Hamlin from having a perfect race. Uh, he finished in 7th. Ty Dillon, Landon Castle from Iowa finished in 10th. Brendan ended up managing an 11th um, place finish after that fire melee. Heading on over to Knoxville Raceway. They called it early, about 9.15 or so. Just absolutely waterlogged at Knoxville Raceway. So they did not race. But like we said last week, unless... You see Noah traveling down Highway 30, heading toward Boone Speedway. They are going to be racing at Boone, and yes, they did. We have some highlights here from all the different divisions here. The Modifieds, John Blue Jr. winning in that division. The stock cars, Jay Smith was the first one underneath the checkered flag, so congratulations to him and his efforts. Also, we have a look at, oh, keep it going there. Keep the uh, keep the video going here because I want to show something else here pretty special. Uh, IMCA Sport Mod winners, uh, Sam ends up uh, winning that event as well because we've got something real special coming up toward the end here. I want to make sure we uh, focus on, these guys are pretty cool, the Mod Lights. I uh, need to check these guys out. Mod Lights winner was James May in that one. But here's one that's pretty cool. Solomon Bennett is the guy you see here in the Hobby Stock Division. This guy had a rough day, broke a gear and hot laps, broke a ball joint after the heat race in the pits after he left the track, got to the feature just in time, and just in time to win his very first feature. 
at the Boone Speedway. So congratulations to him, to Solomon. Great job out of you. There he is in victory lane. Well done. So again, that's a very proud moment for him. Now we take a look at the results from Boone Speedway. John Logue Jr. end up winning, as we mentioned. Uh, just great runs by a lot of folks here at the Boone Speedway who, again, did get their event in. Also, it got rained out at the Richmond race for the Cup Series, so they had a run yesterday about noon or so. Iowa time is when they got up and going. And this was pretty much the Kurt Busch show. Remember, he's a guy that missed three races earlier this year because of uh, some court dealing, dealings. And uh, But this was a, a sweet revenge from him as he was able to capture his first win in 35 races. Kurt Busch wins, which pretty much secures him a space in the chase for the championship, the Sprint Cup. Here it is, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson. Uh, McMurray had a great run in this event. Logano, Casey came at... Kenseth, Jeff Gordon, uh, Clint Boyer, another good run for him. He needed that. Martin Truex Jr. did well. Guys on the right-hand side of the screen, those are all the guys that have some Iowa ties or have been on this program. So those guys did a good job as well. And Jason, you'll like to know this. Joseph Newgarden, our friend who's been on this show a couple of times. Yeah. First Indy win ever yesterday. Grand Prix of Alabama. Oh, good for uh, him. He, was, uh, he had to hold off a very hard-charging Graham Rahal. Great race at the end as Graham Rahal uh, just clipped away about 14 second lead in about oh about seven laps seven or eight laps but he ha managed to hold him off joseph newgarden wins his very first indy event so good news good out of him. his camp and then guy who was just sitting next to us a couple of weeks ago arca race kenny schrader wins the arca race in salem in indiana uh wins it yesterday another rain delayed event so congratulations to our friend ken schrader for winning the ARCA race yesterday afternoon. And once again, I want to remind everybody, Friday, $5 to get in to the Iowa State Fair Speedway. Kids five and under get in free. It's going to be beautiful, Jason. You said, what, mid-70s yeah, for Friday? So for a lot of people are going to be out there. So let's pack the grandstands. Should be a perfect and Show night. the fair people, yeah, we do have race fans here in Central Iowa still. It is 6.50. We'll be right back. You're watching Great Day.